Hi, hello. Welcome back to the Witchy Crafting Mama. If you're new, come on in, grab a seat, make yourself comfy. If you are returning, welcome back to the chaos. So I went to Dollar Tree this weekend and I went to ones that were out of our area and ones that were in our area. Our area, nothing. Like I said last week, nothing was to be found. However, I did go out of our area and found I think you can see it sitting right over there. I found foam core board! Ten whole sheets! Actually there was more. I started out with four. My wife said go ahead and get two more because she knows I have a lot of stuff I have to fix and what I want to do. And I got six of them and then she's like maybe grab eight. How many, how many does it take? And then I walked out with ten. So things happen. You know it escalated quickly. What can I say? So that's that right there. So now I get to pick fix the behemoth over there and I get to fix Piggy's thing right over there, make it more supportive. I mean it looks okay now but I would like it a little bit more structurally sound. So I got foam core board as you can see. Then they also had something else I was looking for for Nana's decorations. So for a while now I've been wanting to make like this window framey sort of thing behind where she sits um, and in order to do that I needed well, in my eyes, <laughs> I needed to have the stretch canvases from Dollar Tree because I'm going to take the canvas off of the wooden frame and use the wooden frame that's in there and make the window frame like this. So, yeah, they didn't have any, they only had five. I'm thinking I should probably do six so that it looks more like a window frame, but I haven't figured that out yet. I do have canvases, a stretch canvas um, that I had gotten a long time ago. They're just not the same size, so I'll have to figure it out. But I got five frame or five canvases, stretch canvases, um, and I'm going to save the canvas and then take the frame off off of the canvas or take the canvas off of the frame. There we go. There we go. I got it. Okay. So I got those. Nana needed tissues. So I got her four boxes of tissues so she can have some in the front room, in the bedroom and that. Then moving right along, I got fans. Okay. So it was really, really hot this weekend. And, um, let me just tell you menopause, no bueno. Oh my God. Oh my God. When it's hot, and yeah, do oh, I love these fans. They're so nice. So I got two of them, one for in my purse and one for my car um, or walking around or whatever. So this purple, I didn't even know it had glitter on it until I just opened them a little bit ago. But they're so nice and they're so, oh, they, they just work so well. So hot flashes be damned. Hot flashes be damned. So I got two of those. Then... I got this 3D wreath form, although I'm not going to use it for a 3D wreath form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little thing off of here and this little thing off of here and these I got also. This is just a wreath ring. I'm going to put this inside here and make a crescent moon with black stuff and yes, and that, that will probably go up on my wall, on my altar wall also. So I've been looking for those. I think I have gotten one of these before. but. I don't know where I put them. I think I organized my room so well that I can't find anything I organized. Does that happen to anybody else or is it just my brain that does that? Okay, so I got those. Then I know you can see that I got more butterflies. And these are different than the ones I got last week. These are, um, the colors are different in the butterflies so I'm going to have a nice variation because I got two of those colors last week. So I have these ones. I'm going to put them up. I'm so excited. They're so pretty. I can't wait for my wall. Okay. So I got those. And then my sweet, sweet wife, as we're walking around, she walks up to me and she's like, babe, look. And I'm like, oh, that's pretty. She's like, I don't know what it is, but I thought you'd like it for the moon and stars. And then she put it in the basket. Still had no idea what it was. <laughs> and I said, honey, um, you know, in order to use this, I need to buy wax. So then she walked over to the little section and was looking at the waxes. So then she picked up, or I picked up these two. It's Mineral Mist and Healing Stone. They smell super, super, super good. 
Um, so yeah, you put a tea light in here, you put your wax melt up there, you light the tea light, and it's pretty. She thought it would go with my room. I, I, that's so sweet. She knows anything moon and stars, I'm like all over the place. For anything celestial, body-wise, stars, moons, sun, planets, any of that stuff I like. So, so I got those. And then, so they have these... This is a new scent. I just dug my nail into it. Darn it. Oh, well. This is a new scent to me. I have not come across it before. It's called Midnight Stars. Is that the name of it? Yes, Midnight Stars. I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. I'm very much into, um, like, earth scents, probably because I'm an earth child, but um, the earthy scent, so it's like, I, I think they call them the woodsy nodes. But yes, patchouli, nag champa, anything that smells non-florally, I like a lot. So I got three of these. Got those. Now, non-Dollar Tree items. So I um, have to repair my, my guy over here and her stuff over there. And um, one of the subscribers had left a comment saying that Gorilla Glue has glue sticks for your glue gun. And I was like, oh, I must have those because Gorilla Glue literally is Gorilla Glue. I don't know if anybody else used it, but dang, that stuff is strong. So I went to our local hardware store, which is, I call it Osh. It's Orchard Supply Hardware in my mind. It will always be that. But no, it's now Outdoor Supply Hardware. I went there and I went to look. Nada. Then I went to another hardware store, which will not be named because I don't like them so much. Nada. They have Gorilla Glues, they just don't have it in glue stick form. So, in speaking with the people at Osh, because I don't deal with the people at the other place, this gentleman, this really, really sweet, sweet man, said that this would work as well, if not better, than the hot glue. I think he was worried about me hurting myself with my glue gun, which he doesn't realize <laughs> all the crap I do. Anyways. He said, use this. This is going to work really, really well. It actually says foam on it, so he was assuring me that this would hold like steel once I put it on. He said it will not come off, but just in case it does, get the Gorilla Glue tape too, instead of using duct tape, or instead of using, I'm sorry, instead of using post or plastic, packing tape, that's the word. Gosh, words. Huh. Okay, so instead of using packing tape, he suggested I use the Gorilla Tape. He said this will also hold, and what's really cool is it comes in black too. So I think he saw that I was going for a motif kind of thing here. So I got that, and I've got this. So uh, the behemoth better not budge. Like, it, I should be able to like build a house on it by the time I'm done. So I got those. I also got rubber cement. I got rubber cement because of um, doing other crafty things. Um, it's supposed to be better than using Elmer's glue, the liquid Elmer's glue. This is supposed to be better for when you're putting crafts together because my glue sticks aren't sticking. And I mean the, the, not the hot glue gun, but the glue sticks, you know, that you, that like kids use, like little kids use. <laughs> That's, yeah, again, hard words. So yeah, I got this in hopes that it doesn't do the same stuff. It doesn't peel off. So we shall see how this works. And then my little pig, my little girl needed a new O because hers is looking kind of rough. So we went to PetSmart. I had to get her hay anyways. And so we got her a new little O fleece bed thingy. She has one in there, but it, it's looking kind of looking kind of tired and rough. So we got this. And then that's it. That is it. Glory be. I cannot wait to start repairing the stuff that I need to repair. Yay! So, behemoth update coming soon. Pig update coming soon. Yay! Okay, guys. I'll be talking to y'all later. See ya! So, this is what happens when your energy takes a dip and you have stuff that you need to do. So, big plans today. I am going to attempt to fix my baby over there. That lady right there. I'm going to attempt to fix her. But first, I really must take care of all of this stuff. So this is the stuff that I've been accumulating um, for future projects that happened um, before my energy took that dip. So I have to put everything in little groups so I know what I'm doing. And that box right there, well, okay, this box is supposed to be future projects. This is my work in progress box. 
And then that was scraps and whatnot, and I've actually outgrown that, because see, the foam core board <laughs> sticks very far out. So, attempt to try and get stuff organized so that I can work on her. So yeah, and then hopefully maybe fix stuff for Pig Pig over there, but I'm not sure about that. I would like to wait until I actually change her cage, um, clean her cage on Thursday, um, just because it'll be easier and won't disturb her as much. So, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. So, let's get Bailey on the screen over here and get to it. And how's your day going? Do you see? Do you see that right there? Right there. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to leave it like that because you know what? Mm, yeah, I... Uh, uh, so, okay, a couple things about the glue. So, the Gorilla Glue, which I do not have... I don't know where the hell it is. Oh, here it is. Hold on. Hold on. This Gorilla Glue. This one. So, it... It works well. <laughs> it sticks, but it takes forever to dry. So, I had to use the Gorilla Tape. Hence... This stuff, the black there, the black here. Obviously, I still have to paint it, but so the gorilla tape is like, whoo, stuff sticks too well. Clearly, <laughs> um, I put it on there and I tried moving this down a little bit, and yeah, so hmm, we have that issue, but that's okay because this is this is my behemoth, and she's supposed to be cattywampus and having issues but she's fixed and now I have her affixed to the wall I put the the command strip thingies um so we'll have to see how that work, works Noreen did say when she did her review that you're supposed to let the command strip sticker thinger my bobbies stay for an hour I'm going to see if I can be patient enough to let it stay for an hour before I put stuff back in here. But yes, this is this is how this is going. In other news, somebody did give me the idea of swapping the stuff in my closet. Don't look at this. This is chaos. This is mess. This is guinea pig stuff. I haven't switched this stuff, but I got this stuff up here. So all my craft stuff now is in this side of the closet. I'm going to fix, rearrange this stuff and put that stuff over there and the baby stuff over there and bring stuff over here. And then this will be, this closet will all be um, crafting-ish type of things, ish, <laughs> crafting ish types of things. But yes, I did get that situated. So up there is craft stuff. This is extra things for um, different projects and stuff that I have. And then the Easter decor, my washi tape. Yeah. Oh boy. So that is going to be the bane of my existence. I can already tell, but it's okay. It's all right. Let it go. Let it go. Well, right. I did it. I lasted an hour without putting anything on it, and now I put all my stuff on it. So let's hope that it holds and adheres against the wall so it doesn't tip forward again. This little thing right here actually isn't bothering me as much as I thought it would. I really thought it was gonna, that swoop up was just gonna, I mean, it irks me. Let's not make a mistake about that, but it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was going to. Um, I may end up just rebuilding the entire thing just because now that I know what I'm doing, this was my first project on it. So I don't know. I, I still love my behemoth though. Maybe I, I can't take her apart. I can't take her apart. I'm too attached at this point. Okay. So that's it. This has been fixed. <clears throat> it is adhered against the wall. Crossing my fingers. It stays like that. And then next is her her thing down there yeah so maybe work on it later today maybe Thursday I haven't decided yet but that's the plan this is done all right see ya